kids. What's going on? Dad, we have something we'd like to talk to you about. I've decided to become a vegetarian. Dad, I've become vegan. Oh no, not you two. You're not going to become like one of them, are you? I'm a vegan. I don't like meat eaters, and I throw blood on their new fur coats. That definitely makes them want to join my cause. So what, are you both going to become one of those dorky Einstein types? Besides agreeing with the aims of vegetarianism for aesthetic and moral reasons, it is my view that a vegetarian manner of living by its purely physical effect on the human temperament would most beneficially influence the lot of mankind. No, Dad. Vegetarians and vegans aren't just hippies. They're all kinds of people, and they come from all kinds of backgrounds. Some are conservative, some are religious, some grew up on farms, some even grew up in the city. We'll still be the same kids. So do you have to eat hundreds of pounds of beans and tofu every day? No, you absolutely don't have to eat hundreds of pounds of beans and tofu. It's really more important, rather than worrying about how much you eat, to think about eating a variety of foods. One thing you may be asked about pretty often if you say you're going to be vegetarian is where do you get your protein? It's actually pretty easy to get all the protein you need on a vegetarian diet. Concentrated sources of protein would be things like dried beans, maybe in hummus, some of these um, convenience foods that are based on soy or beans, nut butters, nuts, soy milk, all great sources of protein. But we also get protein from whole grains, from bagels, even from vegetables. So it's something you really don't have to worry about in terms of getting enough protein on a vegetarian diet. Iron is another nutrient that people may ask vegetarians about. Actually, vegetarians get iron from a lot of the same foods they get protein from, like the dried beans. A number of vegetables also are good sources of iron, Mostly dark green leafy vegetables like the kale we have here, broccoli, collards, those are all good iron sources. And whole grains have significant amounts of iron, as do enriched grains, so grains that have had iron added to them. Non-dairy sources of calcium would include things like soy milk that has calcium added to it and other foods with added calcium. Some brands of orange juice will have added calcium as will some kinds of tofu and other foods like that. Dark green leafy vegetables like kale, broccoli, collards are also very good sources of well-absorbed calcium. And non-dairy sources of vitamin D would include the fortified soy milk um, as a good source. Vegans can also get um, vitamin D, their bodies produce it, when they're in sunlight. So spend a few minutes in the sun without sunscreen, but then be sure to cover up. Another nutrient that's important for vegans to be aware of is vitamin B12. Good sources of vitamin B12 include things like fortified nutritional yeast, that's nutritional yeast that has vitamin B12 added to it, soy milk with vitamin B12 added, some brands of fake meat will have B12 added. And it is important to check the label because the amount of vitamin B12 or, or whether or not a company adds vitamin B12 to a product, that can vary from time to time. So take a look at the label, make sure it has vitamin B12. Will either of you ever play sports again? I've been a vegetarian almost my whole life and now I bike at least 15 miles a day without a problem. I play a full game of soccer and then run for two hours and I'm still energized. So, where can we go out to eat together? I love to get Italian food, and I always get spaghetti with marinara sauce or pasta with pesto. I like to eat Thai food. I can order vegan drunken noodles or pad thai. I go to Taco Bell where I can get a taco with beans, lettuce, and hot sauce. I also go to Noodles & Company where I can get Bangkok curry with tofu, noodles, and lots of peppers. There's a great Chinese restaurant in my neighborhood. I can order Szechuan green beans or tofu with kale. And I love Mediterranean food, so I order falafel or hummus and veggies. For more information on vegetarian and vegan nutrition, how to find out about college scholarships for vegetarian teens who are active and promote in their community, our national restaurant guide, and countless articles and recipes on vegan diets, please visit www.vrg.org.